another three feet, one meter, of snow is expected to hit parts of northeastern U.S. after a massive snowstorm left at least seven dead in New York State on Wednesday. Weather-related deaths were also reported in New Hampshire and the Michigan. Parts of the city of Buffalo are already under five feet of snow. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo called the snowstorm a historic event. Freezing temperatures have continued in many parts of the U.S., with heavy disruption to travel. Weather-related deaths were also reported in New Hampshire and the Michigan. John Gillity of East Aurora near Buffalo told the BBC that some people had been stuck in their cars for a day and a half. I'm lucky to not be in some of the worst of it where there's six feet of snow literally 15 minutes away from where I am, he said. We have maybe four feet of snow so a couple more coming tonight and we'll see how we do. Residents were reported trapped in their homes and cars, and strong winds and icy roads caused motorway accidents and forced school closures in parts of the U.S. More than 100 National Guard members were deployed in New York to assist in clearing roads and removing abandoned vehicles. The National Weather Service said some places could have topped the record for a single day of snowfall, which stands at 6 feet 4 inches. Train services in parts of New York State were suspended on Wednesday, while long stretches of road near Buffalo were closed. As well as the fatalities in New York, there were two other weather-related deaths reported in New Hampshire and Michigan. About 20 people have died across the U.S. since Saturday. Three firefighters in Indiana were also injured when a trailer struck a firetruck on a snow-covered road.